So, if you write code like I do, it will never work the first time. However, I never give up, and I know that it will work if I fix it. This screencast is about how to fix MATLAB code that's broken. MATLAB provides very powerful tools to help you debug code. If you spend a few minutes learning how to use the debugging tools, it will make all of your MATLAB sessions much more productive. In this short series of screencasts, I'm going to discuss debugging code that uses a function call. In this overview lesson, I will discuss the problem, and I will show how to use the code analyzer to find major errors. In the beginner's level screencast, I will discuss debugging within the editor, using breakpoints, stepping and resuming, viewing variables at breakpoints, changing variable values and doing small calculations, and reviewing variable lists. In the intermediate screencast, I will discuss understanding the stack for functions within functions and using step in and step out to debug more complicated code. At the advanced level, I will discuss debugging code with input lists and output lists and using sections in your code. This tutorial will focus on the overview and use of the code analyzer. Let's get started. I'm going to load a piece of code that has some intentional errors called demo vector. This function sets position vectors in two dimensions for two particles, R1 and R2. The two variables in the vector represent the x and y coordinates. I also set velocity for each particle, again with the x and y values of the velocities. As you look at my code, you'll see some obvious errors, but we'll fix those. Next, I will calculate the relative position and the relative velocity by taking differences in the position and the velocity. MATLAB will do this with vector calculations and take the difference in each coordinate. Then I will call a function called calcb. And in calcb, I will calculate two uh, parameters that are returned, b and b diff, and I'll discuss those in a moment. Then I provide a formatted print statement to output this, this quantity b diff that I calculate. So here is the function calc b. The quantity b is a dot product of the relative position and the relative velocity. This quantity tells me, by whether it's positive or negative, whether the particles are moving towards each other or away from each other. Positive values of b represent particles moving away from each other, and negative values indicate particles approaching. The function dot is a built-in MATLAB function. The dot product can also be calculated explicitly, and here I provide a calculation to perform the dot product. If I performed the explicit calculation correctly, the value should agree with the value returned from the MATLAB built-in function. Next, I'll take a difference between these values, which should be zero if I performed the calculation correctly. The code analyzer runs in the background of the MATLAB editor. By default, it is always turned on. It is going to highlight or shade the areas in the code where it finds syntax errors or other potential problems. You can see here that I have inadvertently entered two equal signs. The code analyzer reports that result when I hover over the shaded area. The other place that the code analyzer reports information is in the column along the right hand side of the editor. You can see the same error message reported here. If I double click one of these indicators in the column, I will jump to that place in the code. Here is a suggestion that I should terminate this statement with a semicolon, but I want to actually watch this in the command window so it isn't really an error. I don't have to make these changes that are suggested. The other place where I can find information from the code analyzer is under the Home 
Analyze Code button. This analyzer report will provide hyperlinks to the lines with the suggestions. Just click a hyperlink to jump to the line with the error. If I try to run the code right now, the error in this second line will be fatal, and the program would not run. So let me fix this error. I also can put a comma as suggested. Notice the file name in the bar at the top of the editor now has an asterisk. This tells me that a change has been made in the code that is unsaved. If I save the code, that will disappear. In the next tutorial, I will use the same code and show how to work with the debugger in the editor.